Vietnamese Paper Scissors is a pop-up Vietnamese cafe that happens once a month. Uh, we set up in alleyways and warehouses, and we sell Vietnamese food, usually nine course feasts, things like pork belly bun mi, snail pho, and it's usually curated around a theme. Um, so far we've done regions, north, south, central, and it's just a way to hang out, kick it, and eat good food together. I'm Valerie Liu, and I'm hustler number one. I'm Katie Kwan, and I suppose I'm hustler number two. I'm Katie Kwan. I grew up eating Vietnamese food because I'm Vietnamese, and it's my way to connect with my, my grandma, my parents. So I would go home every weekend, learn a new dish, and like my under, the underground market was my way to share it, my venue. And so when Katie and I met together, it was it was a perfect fusion. It was great. We yeah. both love to share food. We both love doing stuff on the street. Because in Vietnam, people live, eat, hang out, gossip on the street, and you don't see so much of that here. Yeah. So it was nice to be able to do it that way. So that's kind of how we uh, formed rice, paper, scissors. We really wanted to kind of contextualize all the food that we were eating. Previously, there was the underground market, and there was also kind of street food vendors on the street, but we felt as if there wasn't a place for the diner to go, to hang out, to sit. And, you know, it, it kind of felt a little one-sided to be preparing this food and living this kind of role, and then having, you know, someone not feel as if they were completely a part of it. So we wanted to contextualize it. We wanted to set up little red stools, a place for them to sit, a place for them to eat, enjoy themselves, and hang out on the street, too. Because I felt like before that, they were just kind of, you know, standing there kind of awkwardly, awkwardly and you're trying to do your stuff and yeah. to be able to have them own the streets as well um, was kind of something that we shared when we wanted to form rice paper scissors well in our eyes pop-up is really kind of like a pop-up card one day it's there and one day it's not so we really like to go into industrial spaces we've done it in a terrace we've done it in an arc metal workshop and really to come in set up for one night three hours four hours of service and take down it's really kind of a fleeting thing uh, it's not necessarily what we do here at Mojo, which is kind of a guest chef night. It's more so bringing everything in and kind of changing the way people feel or view um, a certain space and create a restaurant there for a little bit. Yeah, what actually inspired Rice, Paper, Scissors was one of our favorite images from Vietnam. We've both been, um, and we both love the image of like a lady selling pho in an alleyway this big, you yeah. know, with little red stools while like motorcycles are buzzing past like a foot away. And, um, and in that's the, the image we wanted to create here too. And I feel like in those situations, I feel super at home. You know, like I feel a little challenged and excited by what I'm seeing and the things that I'm eating, but I'm also feeling like so warmed by what's going on. Someone I read, I once read on Twitter that, and in, in the age where everything's been yelped and mapped, like the sense of discovery is what's lacking and what people miss. And so we hope to give people that, like a sense of yeah. discovery, whether it's like snail pho, like a new dish they never had, or like hanging out in little red stools and eating in a warehouse. So we're at ricepaperscissors.com. Uh, we're also on Twitter. At ricepaperscissorssf. No, ricepapersf. Ooh, yes. I know, it was too long. Rice paper scissors is too long, so yeah. we had to cut it off. So rice, like paper, scissors, SF. No. So our Twitter is ricepaperscissors. Ricepaperscissors. At ricepaperscissors.